We're glad you're here. Thank you for tuning in and let's start up. Is that something? Mmm. We did say that today was going to be smelly. Yes. Yes, we did say. We did say that. It was going to be smelly. Yeah. I, I think I smell something. Welcome to day. It's day five. Yep. <laughs> On the fifth day of Craftmas, my best friend made with me one thing that turned into many. Sixteen things. Nineteen things. <laughs> wow. Thank you for joining us for our fifth day of Craftsmas with Pastor Peggy and Pastor Diane. Mm -hmm. Yep. Say that very fast, like a lot of times fast. No, thank you. We are actually heading, well, I am heading to the kitchen, but Pastor Peggy's going to stay where she is. She has a lighting set up. She's so professional. Well, you have one too. <laughs> I, I do have quite the setup here. Yes, you do. We are going to have so much fun. So watch this short, short clip of what you need for our craft and mm -hmm. we will catch you in the kitchen. No, I haven't, but I have made Play-Doh, so I think it's probably going to be pretty much the same. Okay, I've never made Play-Doh, so you're going to be the lead on this. <laughs> Before we go any further, I've got to grab my great apron. Yes, you do. See, I got mine on already. So okay. here we go. We're set. We're set. Yes. Where do we go? What do we do? Well, first you're going, I've got all of my ingredients mixed in a bowl already. So your dry ingredients. My dry ingredients. When you get it all stirred, you're going to add three quarters of a cup of very warm water. And again, and gently got, mix and start. Yeah, I've got some extra flour here just in case it gets a little sticky. Now, is this edible? Um, well, it wouldn't taste very good. It's just flour and cinnamon and salt, so. And a whole bunch of salt. A whole bunch of salt, so it's not going to be very tasty, but it's non-toxic, so that's, that's good. So if you've got small children and they put it in your mouth, they're not gonna leave it in their lungs. You know what? I'm going to get my hands in there now. I, I was just thinking that. If you've got any rings on your fingers, don't forget to take the rings off. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it feels so much fun. See, oh. kids would love this. It is. Oh, I love this. <laughs> I haven't played with Play-Doh in ages. This is great. I you know, know what this reminds me of? What? Making doner meat. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll leave I the video for that down in the comments for you. Oh, my gosh. This is so much fun. Oh, and it smells so good. I wonder when they're dry, will they be as uh, smelly? I would say they will be. I think the word we should use is aromatic. <laughs> smelly. Oh, did you hear about the news flash from Batman? No. He doesn't smell. Oh. You know, Jingle Bells, Batman I'm smells. Robin laid an egg. He's not speaking for Robin, but he does not smell. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh. so mine seems very, um, very good. It's, it's a little sticky. Yeah, mine is beautiful. I've got cookie cutters, but you know, I mean, it's, it's okay if you have cookie cutters. If you don't have cookie cutters, you could probably just cut it out. I'm going to roll this out, but this is, this is actually a very nice dough. So how, um, how thick? Well, we I mean, it's supposed to dry within 24 hours. So you probably want it maybe a quarter of an inch or maybe three, four millimeters. I didn't put any flour down and mine lifts up beautifully. Oh, really? Yeah. And now, I put flour down and it's, uh, it's making it less sticky, but yeah. It's stick the the flower sticking to the bottom, but it rubs off quite well. I think these would be would give off a beautiful scent throughout Christmas if you made them and hung them on your tree. But I just uh, actually picked up some just a little package of different cookie cutters for Christmas because we were making some cookies for for my dad for Christmas. Okay. I've picked out mine and I've got a Christmas tree and I've got a present shaped and I've got a bell. Bell? I don't have the bell. You don't have the bell? No. Uh, how about a star? I have a snowflake but no star. Oh yes I do. I have a star. Okay, okay good. And of course, we're making gingerbread type stuff, so got a gingerbread man. Mm. And finally, I bet you don't have this one. I do not have this one for that I one. Got, I got these, I think, down in Lancaster um, when we were down for Sight and Sound one time in one of those kitchen supply stores. And it came mm. with uh, five different sizes. And this is the second largest. Wow, it's very pretty. Yes, so let's cut our cookies out. Now, if you want these as decorations, it'll be really important, or like to hang on your Christmas tree. I have a little tiny, I don't know, I'm trying to put it against something that you can see. I have a little tiny um, screwdriver here. So oh. I'm going to take this little, screwdriver and just put it through the top right here so I can put you can a see ribbon that. or a string through. Very cool. And I find have. that, you know, crafting with your kids or with by yourself or whatever, it's such a mental health thing, especially right now where we're going through like a semi lockdown and and all of that kind of stuff. Um, crafting is a way to take your mind off off what's going on and just focus on something else for a little bit and yeah. can be part of your self-care. So if you're doing it with a family member like that you're quarantining with, uh, it's a great way to relax and to, to share an experience with somebody else. Yes. Whether it's kids or your spouse or friend or even even to video like we're doing. 
Yeah. You know, there's there's nothing stopping you for taking this recipe and saying to a friend, hey, do you have some flour, some water, some salt, and some cinnamon in your house? And you know what? I think if you were to substitute cinnamon for nutmeg or cloves or ground ginger or whatever, whatever you had, or even a combination of those things. Oh. Yeah. I was going to say a combination would be really nice. There's some people out there that are allergic to cinnamon. Yes. You know, you can use, you can probably use whatever spice you want it to in this. Um, I have a little tiny bit of dough left over. Uh-huh. A little tiny bit. If you can see this. I, there we oh, go. Oh, you did good. Just a little tiny bit left over. So what I'm doing with my leftover is I am making a rope. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of water on the end and stick it together. I'm going to lay it down so I have a wreath. Nice. Yeah. If you could stick these like little cloves into this. Yeah. And maybe they might dry in it. I don't know. But this is what I got out of mine. Oh, here's my little little cone nice so that's what I have I I have I'm still arranging because mine are taking up the full cookie sheet I should have grabbed my larger one but there we have it a wow. completely full cookie sheet that's a lot that is so that's we're just going to put that aside and we will catch you back in a few minutes. All right. All right so I just thought I would um, add a little bit extra to the video. Um, I came back to hang my ornaments up and uh, uh, in prepping to get the hole big enough there were a few that I broke. Um, so lesson learned you need to make make the hole really uh, a good size, not just a, a skewer or toothpick size um, when they're still soft. I'm using Baker's Twine. Picked it up at uh, the Dollar Tree in the craft section. There were three, uh, three good size uh, rolls for a dollar. Um, I got the orange and white, the black and white, and the yellow and white. That's all they had. And what I've done is I took the largest sewing needle I had and I I used my my cheater threader to uh, to thread the needle because this is this needle is almost too small for this type of uh, twine. I like the process. So you go through and you pull until the loose end comes through. You hold the loose end and put the needle back through to the front of the ornament. And then once the needle's through, you pull this part of the string and with this twine it's um because the eye of the needle is is too small for this twine it gets really funky and then you cut and tie I am so impressed. I just want to eat them. Well, don't taste them. They're very salty. They smell wonderful. And look at how much they've dried. Like, it, it's amazing. Like this is this is the side that was down to the to the parchment paper, but the other side is is almost white yeah so i could see how maybe some people like once they're dried um some people might want to decorate them with like some paint yeah but i wonder if the paint would actually ruin their their scent would cover the scent up 
that's what I would worry about. And yeah. you know what? They're just so cute on their own. Why would you want to paint them? Sure. So oh. if you did not um, craft along with us today, yeah. you need to go and craft this thing. This yeah. amazing this, Nell. Oh. This was definitely worth it. Yes. That this was a fun one. Well, so glad that you could join with us. If you do make these, put them in your comments so that um, let us know how they turned out for you. Yeah, yeah. It, you know what? And I really like the play doh play ness of this, and and how it was just so much fun to sort of get in there and sort of like making bread. You know, you can take out some of it. A little bit of aggression or whatever. <laughs> it's been ages since I made bread, but don't air um, meat like I told you. Yeah. 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 I'm thinking by tomorrow morning these are going to be nicely dried. I think so. Yeah. Put a nice little ribbon on it. You know what would be really cute too? Like as I'm watching them dry, uh, maybe if you carved a name in here. Oh. And took a little piece of ribbon, put it through the hole, and used it to and from. Oh. And you put them as gift tags. Yes. Especially is... if you happen to use the gift. Ooh, yes, look at that. <laughs> yep. That would be fun. fun. <laughs> Or, you know, taking a marker or something after they dry and seeing if you can mark on them. We'll let you know if that works or not. Yeah. Yeah. It's always fun to have something nice and homemade. Oh, she's going to try it now. Okay, so it's it's on the, the dryer oh. part. Yeah. Let me try this part. It might be still a bit too wet, but you can yeah. still see it. You can. Yeah. And they'll turn a very light brown, I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. But we'll let you know tomorrow how that turned out. Good idea. Until then, thanks for joining us. We'll yeah. See. I'm Pastor Diane. And I'm Pastor Peggy. Be safe. Be healthy. And, and be the church. Bye. Well, if you like this video, hit the like button. And make sure that you hit the subscribe button, the little bell down right here in the corner. Make sure you, you click on that so that you'll get notifications of all of our new videos as they're posted. Did, did you know that, that YouTube has changed a little bit since June? That that now you have to say, like when you hit the notification, it asks you how often you want notifications. So hit the all so you will find out every time. We don't we don't post a lot. We'll post every day for the next few like for this twelve days, but we're not on here all the time usually. So hit the all, you'll get a few notifications here and there, and we will love to uh, connect with you here on YouTube. Have you tried them? You can nibble, let us know what it tastes like. Take a lick, come on. Are you daring me? No, yeah. I would never dare you. You smell something? No, not yet, because we're supposed to be doing the introduction first. I know that. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, sorry. Let's start I can't over. You didn't read my mind. <laughs> I know it's the one time. Uh, you, know. Uh. you know what I've realized in the last not too long, you know, maybe a month or so. I'm sounding more and more like my father telling his corny jokes. Oh, really? <laughs> the only thing that I've noticed is that this 
this one right here, yeah. this um, snowflake, has sort of, the, the edges has curled up just a little tiny bit. I'm melting! <laughs> And I had my, my wreath, but I think I'm going to call it a teething ring. 